What's up guys, welcome back to Mr. Tech Boss. My dad bought this PC back in 2009 for about $600. And for that time, it was a pretty decent mid-budget machine. The Core 2 Duo E7200 and uh, 1 GB DDR2 memory, uh, which uh, is a pretty low spec in today's standards. But I've upgraded the RAM to 4 gigs DDR2 and the Xeon E5450. And uh, it's an LG 771 to 775 mod, so I had to mod the BIOS of the motherboard itself as well. So in this video, I install Arbanish. It's not a step-by-step -step guide. Uh, in this video, I'm gonna walk you through not exact steps on how I got macOS High Sierra here in 2019 running on this like a 10-year-old computer. I could even run macOS Mojave, but uh, the problem was that I didn't have a Radeon or a RX 480 or something 460 or anything like that card so I had to because there are no web drivers for macOS Mojave so I had to run macOS High Sierra on this machine so uh, without any further ado let's jump right in all right before we get started uh, let me tell you what I did uh, so first of all I used the image down in the description below which is macOS High Sierra 10.13.6 uh, if you're wondering uh, uh, I just uh, flashed it onto my uh, 16 gigs USB or 32 gig USB with uh, you can use TransMac or even 32 disk imager but I prefer TransMac so you can view the files and stuff uh, but yeah after you've uh, done uh, uh, flashing that uh, I just booted my PC with this with that USB and without changing anything in the BIOS it went all seamlessly like uh, so let's just get started Okay, so here's the USB that I have. I know it's not in focus, but here it is. Uh, I've replaced the Clover folder on this, the EFI folder, because the original one is just black. So when I boot from the USB, it just goes on black screen. So I'm gonna power it on and start spamming the escape key to hopefully boot, hopefully boot into the us uh, into the installer but i'm not gonna boot into the installer because i've already installed it i'm just gonna show you the flags and stuff so uh, you can enter that flags anyways i'm gonna leave the all the links in the description but as i said it's not meant to be an actual step-by-step -step guide so uh, i'm not gonna show you because there are quite a few videos which are better than me on youtube already okay let's put it up there we Okay, so as you can see, we have booted into Clover, and I, as I told you, uh, uh, I've already installed the uh, operating system, but I've not booted it the second time for the setup. So uh, I'm gonna tell you the codes that you need to type in, and you need to go to config uh, here, and click on, or uh, type in npci is equal to 0x2000 space nv underscore dis able equals one, and then um, this should be enough for most people but if it doesn't work you can tie some more codes but for me it's enough I'm gonna boot in Webos mode just to get an idea of whatever is going on and as you can see it's starting to boot up if I would be going into the setup it'll do, it would just do the exact same thing that it's doing right now and it's, uh, and then uh, you know how to set it up like there are quite a few videos online if you search for how to install Hackintosh on a PC you'll find many videos online and again, let me continue discussing about the graphics card. As I told you earlier that this graphics card is not like ASUS GTX 750 Ti's, except the Strix model is not supported by macOS. Uh, only the VGA port works in full resolution after, in, after enabling the NVIDIA web drivers. However, to make it, all the work, port works, I haven't tried the DVI, but I'm pretty sure that works as well because I don't have a DVI monitor. So uh, I'm pretty sure that one also works, but uh, to flash it, I, I flashed it uh, up. Uh, GTX 150 Ti palette ROM. Uh, I tried other ROMs as well, like in EVGA. They all worked, but the fans were spinning spinning considerably faster. However, currently they're spinning like a normal. I couldn't uh, feel or hear any difference. But yeah, once you're in the setup, and I'm uh, as I, I I didn't tell you, but uh, let me tell you, I'm gonna install Windows and uh, and Windows and 
and uh, Mac OS X on a single SSD because at least I know I have one SSD but uh, two hard drives I can install Mac OS on one of the hard drives but then the boot times are really really slow so I don't want to do that I want the boot times to be really quick so I, I'm going to dual boot it from one drive and focus there we go and let me show you it's still that old computer right here it's connected to this one right here it's a uh, HP compact DX 2390 just for you guys to know that I'm not cheating or something and put this on again and yeah it does take some time but yeah if you are installing it on an SSD the setup would be considerably faster again because Okay, there we go. Click on continue. Uh, okay, so I don't have Ethernet yet, but I know the uh, app. I'm gonna use Vietnam Tools because there's the one Kex that works for my PC. It doesn't work uh, for everyone uh, because obviously all of them have all of the motherboards have a different different uh, 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 internet whatever card or something. Okay, so as you can see, we are in macOS, and now I'm just going to install a few tools, which I have on my other hard disk connected to this computer. So all I'm going to do is open Finder, open the other hard drive, which is... Uh, okay, so I just remembered that I have uh, made a backup of my entire uh, EV5 folder that I used previously to install macOS, which had a post installations folder. So I have it on my hard disk, so I just plugged that in and wait for it a few seconds until it loads up Okay, so once I have uh, internet, Ethernet, uh, the driver for Ethernet installed, I'm just going to do a quick reboot and again boot from my USB because I don't, I haven't installed Clover yet. I still need to download the Clover. Okay, so just put in the boot flags again by pressing O and then just enter your flags. Okay, once it's up, uh, once it's booted up, uh, it doesn't have NVIDIA drivers yet. That's why you can see all this flickering going around. So now, uh, uh, if our internet is working, which it should, we can. Okay, yeah, there you go. As you can see, it's working. Um, uh, there's a way to install. I, I'll I'll put a link down in the description to how I made audio work because it's like a little longer step. Uh, so I'm not going to show it in the video. I'm going to try do it myself later on. And also, I'm going to install Windows simply on the same drive. Uh, because I've created two partitions while installing Mac OS High Sierra using this utility. One is called Mac HD and one is called Windows HD even though it's on, it's on an SSD. So there you go. Windows HD. There you go. Let's zoom in a little bit. There you go. Windows HD. So you can just move, move into Windows and install uh, on those. I'm not going to do that. Then you'll have it working. So now what I'm going to do is install NVIDIA app drivers. To, to install it, it's really simple. Just search on this whatever chrome safari search for uh, install web drivers install okay oops I'm, I'm not writing anything do you install web drivers and B E N J A M A N Benjamin I don't know exactly his name but yeah there you go this is the first link first of all I'm gonna change it to English B E N J A M I N not M A N but yeah, there you go. Just copy this command right here. Right click on it. 
and click on copy and then all you need to do is uh, open terminal by clicking windows and space and typing t-e-r-m-i-m-a-l there you go once it's open what you can do is click on windows and control v or windows v and click on enter and then it's going to download all the drivers for you and by the way this I tried this before, I've done it like a lot of times before install web drivers. For me, I need a special Clover folder to make my system boot, but I don't know if it works this time. So if it doesn't boot, it gives a black screen. Uh, I'll try to uh, replace the Clover folder uh, using my, because I have another hard disk on this where I have Windows installed. So I'll just uh, uh, copy that EFI, the real EFI folder onto that. And then it'll work, surely. So then here you can put in your password, click on enter, it's going to install all the web drivers. Um, by the way guys, if you're wondering, I have another monitor right here which is currently connected to the HDMI port, but because there are no web drivers, only the VGA works. Okay guys, once it's done, it should say please restart your system. And uh, before you do that, obviously, we're going to install Clover Bootloader, which I'm going to download. I'm going to try to download the latest one for now uh, to see if it works on that one. So Clover Bootloader. You go to the sourceforge.net website. And then you'll also need to download Clover Configurator. And then after that, click on the download button on this website. And uh, there, there you go. I think you guys can see it. Yep, there you go. So it'll start downloading this one. And then until then, you can go on to this one, the Mackie 100 Projects website. Scroll down, click on this download button. And there you go. Voila. Once that's done, you can make the you can close this because they're going to be in Finder downloads. So the first thing we're going to do is install this the uh, our bootloader. Okay, so if it gives that error, that's just for security reasons. You can click on open anyway, and click on open. Um, there you go. Continue, continue, continue. Customize. Um, okay, sorry for that, guys, but the azan was going on, so I didn't want to come want it in the video. But by the way, just click on install Clover and ESP. That's just going to install it in the EFI partition after creating it. And then click on use alternative MBR booting. That's just for my legacy motherboard. Uh, sorry for that, uh, but uh, let's continue. Uh, in this one, you don't need to do anything. I'm just doing it on legacy. If you have a newer PC, uh, you don't need to do in this one. Uh, here, I'm going to select black, green, moody. I don't like that one. Let's select... Let's, let's select cesium I think that's good uh, it's any your choice though uh, under this one you don't need to do anything and under this one you have UEFI drivers select this one I don't know if it does do anything but I've seen many people do it so I'm going to do it anyways and partition DXE and last but not least option fix DRV and then you can select this one as well and then click on uh, um, uh, this one as well if you want uh, like a thing like clover manager right here um, I want it but it's your choice it won't make a difference and then just click on install put in your password click on enter okay once it's done you can close this uh, I don't want to delete it for now and then go ahead open Clover Configurator again do the same thing by going into the system preferences and then security and privacy and click on open and there you go so you can click on mount EFI if it's not already mounted but mine is so just go here and um, EFI this one config.plist uh, click on uh, boot here I, I have one patch that I need to click on just to make my audio work but it won't work necessarily because I also need to install a kext in uh, in the uh, Clover EFI kexts folder 
which I'm going to do later on. But here, uh, for, uh, click on NVDA DRV is equal to 1 and NPCI is equal to 0x2000. And then that's it. Here you can enter the name of the of your hard drive that you have installed macOS on and then you can click on this timer I wouldn't recommend clicking on fast because then you won't be able to change any settings if anything goes wrong so just don't do that uh, CPU the devices GUI here uh, here just select the uh, resolution of your monitor which in this case the uh, clover is gonna come up on this one so I'm gonna select 1440 by 900 otherwise this is the one the other monitor is on the left and then what you need to do is uh, that's all you can there are many guides online uh, I'm not gonna create a symbios for now because that just doesn't let my system boot and here that's it you don't need to do anything go on file and save and then hopefully if we restart it boots into macOS so I'm gonna click on restart and then now while it's restarting I'll just move my camera back I just to show you guys that I'm gonna remove this USB right here so I did it and then my computer started booting again so just start spamming the escape key so you can boot from the right hard drive so it's the first one Kingston SUV SSD and there we go if everything went fine this should load up the clover bootloader there we go I installed a crappy theme anyways but for the first boot I recommend you clicking on uh, spacebar and then again spacebar on dash verbose and then click on enter okay, so as you guys can see uh, it's showing this error uh, but all I need to do to fix this error is power off my system let it boot from the other hard disk into windows and then restart it that's all how I got for this specific motherboard because I've not installed the right and just click on spacebar and enable verbos boot and click on enter and there you go as you can see uh, their problem is gone and if you know how to fix that problem please let me know I, I'm, I get really frustrated uh, with that problem but if you know how to fix it please let me know okay so as you can see it did get into a problem but so uh, I, I'm pretty sure it's just because the clover is not right so all I will do is uh, go ahead into my windows again and then change the clover bootloader I'm gonna speed that part up really quick because I don't want to waste a lot of time so yeah uh, and then I'll show it to you it uh, booted up so I'm just gonna hold the power button because I don't think it's working because it says power timeout shit and we can just power it off put it on again and then spam the when F escape key again to boot into Windows. So I've just copied all the files and I'm now on a reboot and my camera has only five minutes of recording left and then I'll have to copy all the data from my micro uh, from the from my uh, memory card. And as you'll just see that the Clover UI is going to be different. There you go. So boot Mac OS from Mac HD and make sure NVDA. And here are the codes if you're wondering how it's working. And there's one missing code, so I'll just add that real quick. So and hopefully, if it works, my second monitor will soon start uh, to glow or not glow to soon start to display smart put and yep that one turned off and let's see what happens yep this monitor turned on and voila we have all this shit working um, and now it's just uh, um, it just booted quickly because of my SSD and if you want uh, the second monitor as your main monitor just go ahead into display and select the display thing. I'm pretty sure if you uh, if you are familiar with macOS, you'll already know this. But put this right here, and that's all. So this is my main monitor, full HD monitor. Uh, as you can see, uh, scale it is 
at 1080p and uh, yeah that's all uh, i'm pretty sure my audio won't be working yet because i need to uh, install do that fix but yeah that's about it you just need to put uh, uh, use this operating system to put your uh, to put uh, to, uh, to flash your usb with the windows uh, with windows 10 or whatever and then voila that's all you can then boot and then install windows as you normally would but yeah as you can see i have duo monitors working this one this one is running off of an hdmi and that one is running off vga but uh, yeah that's it for now okay so guys i hope the focus is correct but yeah that's it for this video please don't forget to like share and subscribe and please don't forget to leave any comments and if you know how to fix that problem sometimes the clover works and sometimes it doesn't and by the way i forgot you to forgot to tell you guys that oh you can now open clover configurator and select uh, npci uh, just type that in npci is equal to zero x 2000 manually and then you'll have it working um, you'll have it working uh, but by opening that mounting the EFI and then uh, putting that boot arguing and then boot arc in and then saving it and then that's it then you can proceed on to installing windows on a different disk or the same hard disk I'm gonna do it on the same hard disk because I only have one SSD and I want both of the operating systems to boot like real fast like real fast really really fast but yeah that's it for now please don't forget to like share and subscribe and this is Fuzal Ahmed from Mr. Tech Boss signing off by the way guys, if you're wondering, I will edit this video on this operating system in iMovies, not Final Cut Pro because it's a bit advanced, but I know how to get it for free, which I'm, I'm not going to share it with you guys, but yeah, by the way, so you can just, uh, I'm just going to edit this video and you can see how it's edited compared to my older videos.